So as a developer, I would like to insert multiple records in one shot. Yeah, in one shot. So SAP understand that need. They say, okay, you can upload the data from CSV file to your database table. Yes, you can. Provided that you create a file with the same name as the database table name. With the CSV extension and put that in the CSV folder. So inside DB, create a CSV folder. And in this, you create a file with the same name as the database table name. Okay, that's what SAP says. So what I will do now, just close everything. I don't need all that. So I can just go back and create this over there. Create a file under the CSV folder with the same name. Yeah. So com dot this this csv file and to create dot trans dash order dot csv if you do have this then you can insert scp will automatically yes guys automatically insert the data it will read this csv the format has to be this there has to be some format so it will automatically read the csv folder this file it knows what is connecting connecting pieces this namespace and the file or the table name it will automatically insert the data to the table whatever data you add here so let me generate mock data for that i will take you to the mock generator which can generate uh, you know mock data for us there are a lot of mock data generators online available free which can generate mock data for us. Maybe the one I am looking is this one. Yes. So I have ID, which is going to generate row number. That's good. Yes. Then what else? You need customer. So let's put customer. I want to generate some random company names. So let me say companies. Can you generate some company names? Okay. Then next is uh, location. Can you generate some cities? Yeah. New York, Berlin, like that. Generate some total. So here, generate some number, amount. So this number should be between the range of 100 to up to, let's say, 9,000, up to decimal 2, randomly. Then next is currency. So this should be currency type. Can you generate some currency code for me? And then we have created on and this will be a date generate some date for me in the format why 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 mmdd format please yeah so between this date to this date please generate some random dates for me and then finally created by generate some person name yeah name name of a person so maybe let's see drug name file name family name first name yeah generate some first names automatically european yeah so this is all and i want to generate 1000 records csv file yes perfect and say download data so this random generator will now generate some mock data for you wow that's a smart work on go and now i can just go back and open this file excel file and maybe i can just drag drop this file on my vs code yes so i drag and drop it on my csv folder it has come fantastic now let's rename because it will otherwise not work so let's rename this exactly the way what cap expects cap expects this format of the table wow let's do the cds deploy again come back to my console my terminal and we do a cds deploy to sqli yes my, now maybe i just want to delete uh, this uh, table all, all what i generated earlier let me delete that yes and let's give a uh, it's open somewhere i think yeah we have a connection open guys we have a database connection open here so let's disconnect and i try to delete this if i can so that will create a fresh one 
yeah, it got deleted now. So now I just name it as, let's say, Spider-Man. And you see, successfully deployed in it from this database table. You see, in it from database table. Let's see, connect again. And I say select star from, okay, I did a mistake in connection. We need to uh, just change the connection, edit connection, and the name is Spider-Man, not Nikio. Yeah, so update the connection, connect again. And now you can also see the table. Yes, wow, let's see the data. And voila! Woohoo! Anuba, look at that, guys. 1000 records free of cost within minutes. Within minutes is right over there on your screen. Right over there on your screen. 1000 records. Yes, it is, it is there, you see. 1000 records on this table you see it's showing the count but it only shows the uh, first 50 over here to us and you can just page in it you see next page next page next page you see this next page button to see remaining records so that is how you can create your first database table in cap and upload demo data and see this data in reality right on the screen with the help of the SQL connection. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Please like, share, and subscribe this channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and please find the link of this course in the description of this video. Thank you so much for attending. Have a nice day and bye.